they race dragon boats. In Sydney, Australia's largest city, an annual yacht race to Hobart attracts an international crowd. I'm here today at the remote Mindal Beach in Australia's Northern Territory, where today's races involve a more unusual sea vessel, beer can boats. Scores of trash collecting enthusiasts have gathered here for nearly 40 years to indulge their passion. This year, though, contestants have had to compete against more than just wind and waves. A government recycling program has made the aluminum cans that underpin the entire endeavour much harder to come by. Uh, basically, this year we've, ex we've, we've gone for a more environmentally friendly approach. Uh, we found a, uh, an old sailing boat hull at the tip. Um, we, paid, we paid through the nose for it. It was a very expensive piece of, uh, piece of uh, artwork that we've, we've used for this year's boat design. Well, to use uh, an existing boat and cover it in cans, I suppose it's not in the spirit of um, the beer can regatta, but at the end of the day, it's a charity that matters. And if people come here and spend money to see a vehicle like that and a vehicle like ours, well, hey, let's just go with it. Why not? It's it's good fun day. Go, 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 go! For the Wall Street Journal, I'm Rachel Pennett.